Then we change color again. This here yellow bit that goes behind the loops. For now you just leave the loops, we'll attach them then on the row after this one. And here's my next color. What I'll be doing is uh, six trebles and I attach it to sort of back of the loops here and put my hook through there and pull the yarn through and uh, chain three. Again chaining the first one using two strands of the yarn there and then two more into that there bit behind that loop so there's three now and then again three so what I'm making is four sides four sides of six trebles with chaining three in between and uh, all of these into the back loop and uh, leaving the loops in the front. So uh, three more trebles. One, two, and three. Like this and then later on next row we'll attach these over them. And now chain three. That's the corner. And then continue. Again trebles behind here. So and back loop. One. And so on. So what you'll do is six trebles here, chain three, six Again chain three until the end of the row. Here we are. I have four sides done and then again attach this to the to the start of the row using a slip stitch. So that's the end of this row. Then, then we'll make a row that attaches these here loops. I cut this yellow yarn again and then I take the next color or another color and um, first chain, chain one. First again another chain stitch using both parts of the yarn for the one stitch just then I tighten that. Then I put the hook through the loop that we created there as well as the next stitch at the top of the trebles and make a double crochet there. Single crochet merit. Just like that. So that attaches it there. And then just another double crochet and another. And then I'll attach this next loop into that there. So again my hook inside this loop and through here yarn over and a stitch and then there's one more so it's just an ordinary double crochet there. So here is the first bit and then I'll make two tiny loops in here that I will need the next row. Chain two, double crochet in the here into the middle of this here. Chain two again, and then do the same with these here loops. But first, so there's design sets of three, so so you attach them to the middle one. So double crochet first. Then hook through there and the next stitch and this 
yarn tightens them both. And then here, two double crochets and attach the next one. And the last stitch. And again, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and continue. You keep going like this until the end of the row. Here I'm almost finished with this hero, uh, but I need to start the next row in between here, so I'll finish off a little bit differently. Uh, chain one and then half treble into here, meaning that you have one yarn over but you pull through the yarn straight through like this here. We'll need the lilac soon again so I'm not cutting the thread here. So this is the sixth row, starting with this color, chain, and then, and then three trebles into the stitch that we used for attaching this here loop. So, one, that's three, then chain one, and the same on into this here stitch, three trebles, again chain one and uh, a double crochet in here. into the corner the way there are two tiny loops in here and chain two for the corner two and then attach it there with the double crochet and then you just do the same again so uh, chain one three trebles in here chain one and three trebles in here so it will be the same as this here so almost finished row six and uh, attach the yarn here and then actually cut it and pull it through. I had already cut it. <laughs> 